Hey guys, I'm doing a big lay down vlog. Lazy, lazy, lazy. I went to the flea market today and I actually got nothing from the flea market, but Plato's Closet was a huge hit. They have a ton of great deals. If you've never been to one and you're looking for cheap, nice clothes, I would totally recommend going there. It's like a goodwill that only accepts clothes that um, are in style, our name brand, or that kind of stuff. So it's really nice. Um, of course, they're used clothes, obviously, but some of them like still had tags on them. Some of them looked like they had like been worn once. So I was pretty excited. I got some clothes. Um, got some rain boots, which I'm very grateful for because I ha I got some rain boots from Walmart and they're like ten dollars. They're like total cheapos, and they give me blisters, and I stopped wearing them, and so my feet get drenched every time it rains. Blah, 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 Megan, no one cares. Okay, so anyway, I had, um, well, I keep shaking the laptop. Okay, I need to stop moving. All right, um, but I was thinking about the whole dog thing, and I had emailed... Um, a shelter. I bought this one dog on Pet Finder. His name's Chewy Louie. You should look him up on Pet Finder. He's like the cutest little dog ever. And I was talking to my mom about it. And even though I'm 20 years old, and even though technically I, I'm going to be getting this dog for my own apartment, I still feel like I need to consult with my mother because 20 years old is not an adult in like in my eyes. Um, I still depend on my mother for a lot of things. You know, it's like definitely not you know, an adult in that sense yet. Um, so when she kept saying no, I was kind of like in that thing where it's like, but mom, please. And it's kind of like, why am I even like fighting this? Like I could just like wait until I move into the apartment and then just go buy a dog and there's nothing she can do about it. And I'm, I'm really not that rebellious type. Like I, I don't think I would ever do that. Like I would feel so bad. It's like we were, um, driving, to we were in the Walmart parking lot and there was this space and this woman saw it before me but I like started pulling up to it and I was like I don't want to take her space I feel really bad she saw it before me <laughs> so I let her take the spot and then when I went around the other side there was one like right next to the door so I was like well this I guess this is payback for being so nice um but anyway so my point being that I started thinking about it and then I noticed that my cat chick who has to stay at home um, she can't come with me to college until I get my apartment. So she has to stay here. And so she's been making friends with some of the neighbor cats. But she doesn't really like them. Like, you can tell that she's, like, it, it's not like they're really good friends. It just seems like she only hangs out with them because she kind of doesn't have anybody else. And so I'm like, well, maybe I'll get another cat for my cat, Chick. And so that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm, I've always been a big cat person. We've always had several cats. So, and they're so much easier to take care of than dogs. You don't have to take them on walks, you know. <sighs> you don't have to um, let them out to use the bathroom and all that fun stuff. So, I might just end up doing that. And then someday when I grow up and become a big kid, I can get a dog and hire a dog walker to take her out in the middle of the day. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will talk to you later.